Hi guys, this is just a quick little video to give you a tip for editing user presets via the XML files. So I've built this little library and I have a selection of presets, but I made a mistake and I don't want to have to edit my instrument and then resave all these presets because that's going to take a while. So I'm going to show you a quicker way that I'm going to use. So the mistake is this. I've got a settings dialog here and a round robin on the off button. And while I was experimenting and testing things out, let's open that in the big preview. While I was testing things out, I set this up with some MIDI automation for CC64, the sustain pedal. So if I press my sustain pedal, it turns that button on and off. Now I actually don't want that because I'm using the sustain pedal for other things. So what I would have to do usually is right click on this, remove the CC64, go back into my preset browser that I've created and then create a new preset overwriting the existing one. And I'd have to do that for all of these presets. And I really don't fancy doing that. That's going to take a while. But what we can do, this is the project folder for this uh, sample library. And we've got the user presets folder here. If I go inside there, we have factory and then we have the different categories. So it's just like I've got in my preset browser here, we've got factory and then the different categories. And if I open one of these up, we'll open the two flute ones up. And these are just opening in sublime text. And if I scroll down to the bottom, you can see we've got this MIDI automation here. And this is the MIDI automation that's affecting that button on the user interface script. So you can see this script is called user interface. And to fix this, basically all I'm going to do is delete it. Pressing control S to save the file. I'm going to do the same to the flute one as well. Delete that, hit save. And now if I reload this instrument, hopefully now when I load the flute patch, that automation will no longer be there. So it's gone. So that's a quick way to fix the user presets without having to change it and uh, resave from within the preset browser of the instrument. I hope you found that quick tip helpful and I'll see you in another video.